gentlemen. My name is Sarah. I'm 35 years old and I live in Toronto with my husband Adrian and our cat Luna. I grew up in Montreal in a really big family. I have five siblings and everyone is scattered all over Canada. Adrian and I had plans to have a big wedding in 2020, but we had to postpone our celebration because of the pandemic. So we ended up having a really small ceremony in October. Only one of my sisters was able to be there, but uh, the rest of my family joined in on Zoom. So that's the way things are being done these days. I haven't seen my family since last Christmas, which has been really difficult uh, since we usually try to visit them as often as possible. Uh, my parents are staying really isolated because my dad has multiple sclerosis and we don't want to risk his health. So um, we're just, we haven't seen them at all, but it's really hard to stay apart. And I know you can probably relate to that uh, lately. So usually for Christmas, my whole family would get together at my parents' house. My sisters and I go to midnight mass with my mom and we sing with her in the choir. And then we go home. We have a very late dinner, which French Canadians call le réveillon. And then after that, we open our gifts. So we usually go to bed around four or five in the morning, and then we sleep in really late on Christmas day, and we have a big brunch once everyone's awake. Uh, and that's how we've always done it, even when we were little kids, which I don't know how my parents managed that. But uh, this year, we're gonna have to get creative again because we're all staying apart. Uh, but I think everyone is still planning to stay up really late, just out of uh, tradition. <laughs> Um, prior to the pandemic, I worked in the craft beer industry, uh, but I've been laid off since March. So right now I'm reading quite a bit these days and I'm rereading, uh, Moby Dick, which was one of my favorites, uh, in university. I did an English literature and history degree and, uh, I really, really love this book. So I'm reading it again for probably the 10th time. <laughs> Uh, so that's a little bit about me. I know this is a very challenging time and a really scary time and I hope you're staying safe and managing to stay connected with your daughters and your friends even though it has to be done a little bit differently. And I wanted to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and a really, really happy holiday season and I'm sending you lots of warmth and lots of love for 2021 and I really hope it's a great year. Take care and stay safe. Bye.